Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray back at it. Here is the template in all its splendor. See that there are a lot of assignments here on the right hand side. Bear in mind that these are all happening inside of the no zone category. Let's look at the ins and outs, exactly what's going on, so that you could find your flow. All right, I've got the same piano that we've been listening to. I just added a little bit of a sub oscillator right beneath it. And so on the actual piano, I just have a little bit of reverb here. It's called CSR Inverse. Really nice sound. Really been enjoying that. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of Cleverb by a great company called Clevgrand. And so now this is going to sound like this. One of the reasons I like this plugin is because it has a built-in ducker, meaning I don't have to drop in a compressor, link it to the source, and create this ducking effect. And so after that, I'm going to add Comet, which is really my new favorite reverb, really ambient, really lush, and I'll show you how all of this is mapped here in a second, but I'm trying to impress upon you the possibilities when you do this mapping so that you can route these things quickly and also just create music magic. Check it out. So the first is more just of an ambient energy. The second is epic it almost sounds like a pad and then finally here on the third bus i have an echo a stereo delay and a game time decision as i was putting all this together i'm using kilohertz delay and i'll explain why in a second check it out Let's start from the top. I'm gonna hold shift and click here to exit out of all these plugins. And also use the key command. Close all plugins inside the key command window. All right. So if I'm starting from scratch, let me go ahead and remove the sends. I'm going to insert my first reverb. And I explained Space Designer was the way that I decided to go. Now, this isn't going to work unless this track is in focus. This is why I have you insert your auxes inside of the tracks area. So yesterday, we described that we have all of this connected inside of first two columns on the launch pad. So let's check this out. Make sure that we have a little bit sent over. I option clicked to send a default value. Okay, now I want to click on the track, make sure it's in focus. why I do like to map dry. I know a lot of people say not to do that, but for me it works out really well. After that, I decided to go into the world of calls, and this is where Clever comes in. It's a really nice plugin. I think it's underrated in the market. It has a great price point as well. So let me go ahead, pull up the track, make sure it's in focus. This is my hull. All right, let's give it a go.
right so i mapped out the other two columns that takes the first four out of the equation and so on the next four i decided to go in a different direction many of you have heard of fab filters great plugins but a lot of people really haven't played with or understand fab filters reverb plugin and it really is outstanding my experience thus far is that it's it's subtle and yet very powerful so again next two columns all dedicated to this plugin so let's go ahead and make sure we have some volume going in from the bus and the send so i'm going to click here and then on my other controller which is off screen i'm just going to raise that up all right great make sure that the appropriate track is in focus and selected let's give it a go Bypass these. You can really hear this plugin. The so reverb is now in the middle. I'm going to spread it out. Okay, I really like the sound, and yet it's still a little bit too quiet. So two ways to increase the volume. In this case, I've got a gain plugin instantiated. I'm gonna raise this up. Of course, you could have also gone back to the channel strip and sent a little bit more. This is sounding really nice. Another thing you could do is go into the output here and raise that up. So please let me remind you that this is where we started. So that's a massive difference. You can see why I made a decision to make this a part of the arsenal. Just trying to make sound decisions. I have a great reverb in Space Designer. It gives me realism. I have a great reverb in Clever, which is really subtle. I like the ducking feature there. Then I have Fab Filters offering, which is beautiful, lush, but not necessarily over the top. And then finally, when I get into probably my favorite reverb of them all.
and that becomes a universe unto itself. That's page one, all of the reverbs, something realistic, something subtle, something a bit more professional, and kind of a utility plugin that I'll be using a lot in the Fab Filter plugin, and then finally something otherworldly. So hopefully you enjoyed this session and you're seeing the value and how this can accelerate your workflow and just take it to a whole new level. This is Eddie Gray signing off on behalf of Resources for the Modern Creative. Go ahead and subscribe and hfmusicacademy.com. Check out what we are up to. Thank you so much for the support, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.